It is time now for Better Money with Eric Hogarth, and today we're talking about how you should be saving for retirement at different points in your life, from your 30s to your 60s. Eric is a certified financial planner and partner at Johnson Brunetti. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. So what you're doing with your money is going to change depending how old you are. So we're going to kind of go through and give people a checklist depending on what decade they're in. It's a good plan. All right, so let's talk about the 30s. And this is one of those things that if you didn't save, you're looking back going, why didn't I start earlier? So in your 30s, you really want, the action item is you want people to save. Everyone says that. If I just saved when I was earlier, when I, when I was younger, it'd be easier. So in your 30s, you have to consistently save. Don't stop saving no matter what. If you have to turn it down, okay, but never stop saving. Just get going and start filling up that bucket for retirement. Okay. So then we get to the 40s. And then the action item is you want to review an investment strategy. Well, now you've saved up some money, so you have to look more closely. What is the money doing? Maybe I don't want it all in the same place. You don't. You know, make sure you have balance in what you're trying to accomplish and start thinking about what is that money for? Is it for college, for buying a house, or for retirement? And that helps you look at what it should be invested into. Okay, and then we get to the 50s, and that is a little bit different because you really want people to pay down their debt and take advantage of catch-up contributions. You want to save as much as you can. At 50, you can put in additional money to your 401k, take advantage of it. And when you get to retirement, you're going to look at how much income do I need. If you have less debt, you need less income. So start paying down that debt aggressively. Now, if you, would you recommend people increasing their 401k if they still had debt, or they should start tackling the debt first? Great question. Depends on what their situation is and how big that debt is. The debt is not a bad thing, but unmanageable debt is. So if you're in a credit card situation, you pay that off before you save more money. If it's a mortgage, you do both. Okay. All right. Now you get to the 60s, and now you want to create, you're getting a little closer to retirement, and you want to create a lifetime retirement income plan, and you might be changing your strategy a bit. Well, the focus up to that point is let's save as much money as possible so we can hopefully retire. You get to the point, what do we do with the money? Now you need income off of it, and how you invest for that is different. You're not investing for the long haul. You're not trying to double your money. You're trying to keep your money and generate income off of it. So make sure you're being prudent about what you're doing and not keep thinking 30 years out. Okay. So if you'd like to get uh, a little help with this, Eric has a free offer. It's called Changing Story of Retirement, and a lot of tips in there. They go even more in-depth, and this is free to all of our viewers. To get it, all you have to do is go to BetterMoneyTV.com, and people can get the free offer there, and they can also ask some questions if they have. Absolutely. Read it. It'll help. All right. Thank you so much, Eric. Thanks, Karen. That's Better Money.